So it's been decided. I definitely know I am going to Cornell. She says as she passes Cornell the street. But anyways, yeah, no, like I'm still in awe that I got into an Ivy League, let alone, you know, finally coming to terms and accepting their offer. And it's not like the other schools weren't attempting either. Like, I mean, I literally just turned Waterloo down despite being fairly sure that I was going to go to Cornell for the past week now. So, wow, I'm really trying to come to terms with all of it. You'll notice we're filming at another angle today because I wanted to show off and talk about origami. So yeah, I cannot believe that I'm really going to Cornell to be working with this professor on doing research into this. Like, what? So I think I should give you guys some background. My new PI, he's doing research into origami-inspired metamaterials. And so you ask, you know, why is this useful in the real world? Well, I'll tell you why. He is building robots on a micro scale. And that just has a bunch, a bunch of potential applications. But so what, but I don't, honestly, I don't really care about those applications. What really drives me like insanely excited is to, in order to build a robot on the micro scale, you have to get the materials to build a robot. But you know, normally on the macro scale, on real life scales, you could just get the wood, get the plastic, get the metals, you know, drill, do whatever you need to manufacture everything. But down on the micron size, you can't really find all those materials. And so what he's doing is he's taking to origami for inspiration to start with one type of material, graphene, and add folds to it to have different emergent mechanical properties. I'm trying really hard to suppress my excitement here. <laughs> I mean, come on, it's physics, it's material science, it's mechanical engineering, and it's gonna be computer science too because all research has code in one way or another. And, and he did mention he's trying to get into swarm robotics, or maybe he's already gotten into swarm robotics once enough of these robots are manufactured. So, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, like, what are my academic interests? Physics, material science, mechanical engineering, and computer science. Just... Pfft. And why not throw origami in there since I spend way too much time folding anyway because I like the artsy stuff and doing repeated things with my hand is... I like it. Okay. <laughs> I get along well with this PI because if this is my PhD project, I mean, I've been training my whole life for this project, right? Like, come on. <laughs> I honestly never in my wildest dreams, I mean, if you told me a year ago that I'd be doing research in physics, material science, mechanical engineering, and computer science combined in a year, like, I just, I don't, what? What? This field! I mean, it's a relatively new field, but this field is gonna be so cool. I get to literally use everything from my toolbox. I did not know such a project could exist, but it does. And here we are, here I am freaking out about it and talking about it to you guys. It's gonna be so cool. Like, ah, check it out. It's my meta material. It's just folds, but you know. Yeah, and then you you could get bouncy paper, which is kind of cool. Um, and you know you guys have already seen the butterfly cube, which is pretty solid, but once you put enough stress in it, it kind of breaks apart. Wait, what? Breaks apart. Um, and then I, I recently made this, which is an origami flexi ball. So it's it's a ball. Not it's not a flexi ball. This is the flexi ball. This is called a flexi ball. I think this is called a magic ball. <laughs> or like a dragon's egg or something. But you know, it's it's squishy. Um, but I mean, normally paper is not squishy, right? And then you could also turn this inside out. And what I find really cool about the this um, particular model is after you turn it inside out, it's actually more obvious. But you could see all these holes. Locally, there's a lot of defects, but you know, overall, the thing is still pretty solid. Yeah, 
yeah, I can't, I, I genuinely can't wait. And my parents are happy because Cornell has a good name. <laughs> Asian parents, don't ask. Okay, well, see you guys next week. Why am I waving in that direction? See you guys next week. Look at my pretty origami. Okay, bye. So here are some outtakes. I might have gotten too excited when I was filming. And, and just pretend that didn't happen. Why not? And he's building micron scaled robots. Uh, it's, it's... <laughs> Can you tell I'm excited yet?